Hey, how are you doing, boys? Guys? Welcome to the video. So today on Solar DMZ, we're going to be focusing on trying to unlock the grenade launcher. This is tied to a Building 21 boss, um, Velkin, who spawns around four minutes to the end of the game. Um, and he has the grenade launcher in hand. What you need to do is actually take him out nine times and you'll unlock the Abata. So you can even create the grenade launcher in um other maps and it's quite an easy barter too to make if you do unlock it um and it's a very useful weapon to have on you uh if you need to so definitely worth going for but i do understand that building 21 isn't a popular map and people really don't like going in there so i've tried to make this as easy as possible um to follow so you can do this now i'm just going to say this now it's not going to be easy in the terms of you're going to be able to do this all the time and you're going to have no troubles it's building 21 it's one of the hardest places to be but this is definitely the easiest way to try and do it all right so let's get straight into it so what you're going to see in these three different um attempts to do so these are all consecutive attempts too and we get it done in all three and i wanted to show it in different ways i wanted to show it with a squad fill and then I wanted to show it doing solo, okay? And every single time we've gone to this area, he's always spawned there. I'm not going to say he always spawns there, as I do know 100% that he does spawn in other places. And so it's not a guaranteed spawn. But the reason I want you to go to this same place each time is because this area where he comes um, is the most easiest type way to kill him. It's the most easiest way to control the... Um, AI from spawning in and not considerably keep on top of you and pounding you all the time. It's the easiest way to keep cover against other players and cover the areas um, if you do need to take on other players. And it means also if for whatever reason he doesn't come, you most probably will be able to get out because that elevator is an exit. All right. So instead of just trying to go around the other areas, which are a lot harder to try and kill him, I would rather just advise going to this one area and just hoping he comes here. And if he doesn't come here, just exit and start again. But he, from the, the three times in a row, he did definitely come here. And there's a few ways you can tell if he's going to come. So before we even get into that, what I would advise doing is doing the same thing as we done before when it came to killing Wilson all right is to go to the b stairs all right because that's the easiest way to find it because when you go to the b stairs and you go to the top part of it which is b um three again if you turn right you see wilson but instead of turning right this time you just turn left and you go into the door um you'll see to your left all right and um to your right when you go to when you turn left all right so if you go in there you just then clear out the area you shoot all the cameras you can see and you'll see me doing this in um in the in the runs and then you just right around that area until the five minute mark where then you'll see the elevator and it'll start flashing red the lights will start flashing red if he's coming there and then about the four minute 30 mark he should then come out of the elevator right I feel like this is the easiest way to do so. If he doesn't come out the elevator at 4 minutes 30, then he's definitely not coming um, from that elevator. And then I would just exit. You could, if you want, if you don't care about dying, then go to the other areas. There's another one basically on the opposite side of the same floor where he can possibly spawn. Then he can also spawn in the um, car parking area, the, the lift down there. And he can also spawn on the second floor. But I would 100% advise just leaving it and just focusing on killing him if he spawns at this specific area. Okay. So again, go up B stairs, go to the left when you go uh, when you when the doors open at the 11 minute mark. Go to the left, go through that area and wait there. All right, and just chill. Take out the cameras, take out the AI, take your time because you got to wait there until at least the four or at least the five minute mark. Okay. Um, and then you can kill Velkin. Now, killing Velkin, I 100% advise using the KV broadside. That's the gun of choice I would recommend bringing in here. Um, I will put the gun build at the end of this video for you. And it's also in the Discord under my gun builds. Okay. But I would 100% bring in a KV broadside. It's definitely the easiest way to try and kill him. Or if you're broke or you haven't got your insured weapons, 
just bring a shotgun. You know, just maybe farm a few shotguns from other places like Ashika or El Masra. Just like a basic 800, 890 or pick it up from some um, bots in B21. You just need a shotgun because they do a lot of damage, right? But if you want the best chance, the KV broadside is definitely the way forward um, because that, that does have the best impact, all right? Um, so try and bring one of them. And like I said, I'll bring the build um, at the end if you can. And obviously, if you run out of your free KV broadsides, if you have your third insured slots, do the thing I showed you before um, on the previous video on how you can reset all your insured slots by bringing in 130k and take them to a dead drop, right? Um, so you can do that if you want a really fast um, instant get your, your, your insured ones back. So I'll leave also that video in the description down below, okay? Um, so give that a try. What I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to roll the um, the actual gameplay is going. There's some really good games, quite spicy. We go against a few players. Um, we make a decision to avoid certain people when we get, we get onto a fight, which works like, in our favor. Um, I'll let this all roll. I'll cut to the bits where it's a bit boring if we're just waiting for Velikin, for example. Um, and this is all on stream, so if I'm talking to people, it's just because I'm talking to people on chat. Anyway, guys, enjoy the gameplay, and I hope uh, this helps you um, unlock Velkin at least. All right, this definitely feels like the easiest way I've managed to do it. Um, I hope this helps, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Enjoy the live comms. Alright, let's get you up. I've got you, mate. I'm taking fire. Right, he's gonna be coming, so I wanna get I wanna get to the place I need to be. Well, we're giving those guys a chance, we'll help them a bit. I just need to I need to kinda go back to a well. They just keep dying, don't they? I'm gonna just leave them to it. Get him up at the end of it. So he can possibly spawn here. So let's see if he spawns here. That is the goal, Sagey. Yeah, that is the goal. What happens when you kill the cameras? So basically, when you kill the cameras, it stops the woman on the um, mic telling the AI where you are. You'll notice that I'm not getting rushed by AI all the time. And that's because we're shooting out all the cameras. You, you're no longer here going, blah, 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 Like that. Just like that, by the way. See? I'm up. I'm up. I think he's coming this way. Because there's the red here. Is that I wonder if this means he's coming this way. And if it doesn't do the red, it means he's Yeah. Yeah, I think that means it. So if you see the red come in, um, why did I do that? He's, he's, he's the boss. So I wonder if that's always a fit case. I wonder if that's always the case. I kind of, I don't really want this. I, we, we're going to be able to make it. I'd rather have the M13B. It's more valuable for me. Uh, oh, I can now grab it. Now. I can now grab it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to reset it. I think that's the thing. So if it's the red area is where they come. Who are you fighting?
my kid. He's behind cover. We're gonna lose the doors with these guys. I should have left them. I'm taking fire. Will they open up again? No. Well, I'm just gonna go. I'm not waiting for them again. I don't know what they're doing. Ooh. Yeah, no. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. So that may be the thing. We're going to test this out now. We're going to have to test this a bit more. We're going to just keep going back to that same place. I think that's the way forward. I think I'm just going to go in solo too. Just, I don't have to worry about anyone. I can just focus on it. That way. That's shooting at someone. Pick out these quickly. We need more plates, really. See, they're the flashing yellow at the minute. Four more plates. Lots more plates. I know, right? They're not dropping all the plates. Of bots. Just looking out for cameras at the minute. 
There's another camera there. Camera there. Yeah, intrusion detected. Bloody blah and blah. That's all. Bots are chilling there. This is good. Yeah, you have to get headshots. Yeah. That's another one. Okay, so we've pretty much cleared all this up, right? So I'm going to want to just chill around here until the, f until four minutes. We should get the notification. Let's see if this turns... If at four minutes this doesn't turn red, then it's a good indication that he's not about. And he, it, it, maybe it just turns red where he's supposed to be. It's a good little indicator to figure out whereabouts he is actually... Uh, coming from like i don't care getting killed by these guys whoever they are wherever they are i just want to you just want to get the kill right first on Vulcan. so we've got a minute and 43 left what, <laughs> what? yeah so code red so yeah so is he gonna come here Let's get ready to see if he comes there. Yeah. Yeah, he's came here again. And then does that come become an exit? And they turned red. This should come an exit at some point, but we could try and uh that one's the good one to go for. I think that's the bottom bottom one. I'm gonna try and go for that one. People here. Where's your KV broadside? I'd rather have that than the grenade launcher, to be honest. Doof, 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 doof. Nice. Ultra one, cargo secure. I kind of want to low key just run right down the middle, which is a bit freaking of a nutter move, but YOLO. You're clear to engage all threats. Be advised, our recon systems are down. We're blind.
people here. We do see to go to the beast stairs. People possibly second floor. Just checking third. Ultra one, we're seeing increased activity in the area station. It's uh we call it the dirt build, Dizzy. We call it the dirt build, my dude. We are testing we're not really testing builds that we're testing how to kill Velk in the easiest way possible for a unlock video for um on YouTube. We call it a dirt, but it's, it's Dragon's Breath. We've got a silencer on it. Big, big old magazine here to keep on firing. We haven't put the... Um, I know a lot of people are putting on the thing so you can spam it even faster. I don't really like to do that. I just it's, it's, It seems to be fine without the spamming. Both are really good, Charlie, but I prefer the... Um, Dirt. I prefer the, the dirt. I prefer the um the flame rounds just for PVE two and bosses. Let's see what happens. They should see if if these turn red or not. And if they don't turn red, then I guess he's going to spawn at one of the other places. All right, so five seconds. Let's see what happens. Two, one, zero. Yep. Yeah. Turning red. I think he's going to spawn here. He'll spawn here in one minute time. I think he'll spawn here a minute time. I'm pretty sure that's what he means. He should be coming from this. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's spawn. He's spawned there. That's the other guy. Alright, cool. Ultra one, cargo So yeah, he's sp every single time we spawn there, it's it's definitely seems to be the thing. So the thing is I haven't managed to test it if he doesn't spawn anywhere else. He's always spawned at that place. So I'm gonna 
I feel like the best way of doing this, if people want to kill him, because the under... That's the, I think that's the safest place to go and do it. I think it's the safest place to try and kill him because he has to come out of that hallway. And if you've got a shotgun, you pretty much can't escape you. You can just like... Um, you can just pretty much just shove the shotgun into his ass, basically, <laughs> and kill him. Um, so I think that is the way you want to do it. I don't think you want to go and kill him at the under at the um at the parking lot because the parking lot is an absolute ball like there's a load of load of cameras at the parking lot and there's like loads of people trying to go back and forth doing things like we weapon case for example the archives things like that the second floor maybe but it's still like literally full of bots the third floor's got two entrances. You've got the other side, but that's then covered by a Wilson. So you'd have to kill the Wilson too. And then you also get pinched by enemy teams really easily. So I think that's the best place to take him out anyway. So I think you just go there and you just hope. And if you wait for your five minutes, if the, if it doesn't go red, then you just get out. You just leave. Or you can try and take him on if you want to. But I feel like that's the easiest place to take him on. Is, is there each time. Okay, for the build for the KV broadside, we call it the dirt because it is just a dirty gun. And uh, we start with the laser. We're using the point G3 P04 laser tuned to hip fire spread and uh, sliding hip fire accuracy. We're going on to the bow, which is a gunner D20 barrel. Going towards damage range and recoil steadiness. I'm about to say dirt range, damage range and recoil steadiness. SAMX50 muzzle, tuned to bullet velocity, aim down sight. We're using the Dragon's Breath ammunition, tuned to recoil steadiness and damage range. You could up the velocity if you want to, but you don't need it since we're really up close and, you know, against most people, we don't use it at range. So I wanted to recoil steadiness just to help with the, uh, when you start spamming it a bit. And then we're using the 25 shell drum magazine. Hope this helps, guys. I'll see you soon.